With the Ford Pro Upfit Integration System Logic Tool, you can create up to 32 soft switches accessible within Sync, the in-vehicle touchscreen. To access the soft switch feature in the Logic Tool, create or open a project. From the Vehicle Signals panel on the right-hand side, select Touchscreen from the drop-down. Then click to enable the feature. The first soft switch you can create is related to the Upfit Idle feature. This feature is disabled by default. Click Add Control Switch to enable it. When enabled and activated, the Upfit Idle feature allows the vehicle operator to walk away with the key remote while the engine remains idling. Upfit Idle is useful for any powered upfit that requires PTO engagement or for work with electrical equipment outside of the vehicle. This panel is also where I can create my own custom soft switches. To do so, click the Add Switch button. To update the switch settings, double-click the desired switch in the right-hand panel. Here, I can change each page name for the Upfit control feature within the sync screen. I can also define the name of the soft switch. I can change the page and position it should appear on. I can change the icon I want to display. And finally, the activation delay. The activation delay option is set to 5000 milliseconds by default. This is not setting a delay for the actual button press, but a delay for the time that a response for button press needs to be received. If not, the sync will display an error message. No response for the button press. I can adjust these settings at any time, but we find it's easiest to do it before dragging switches onto the canvas. Click the close icon to save. I can also disable the soft switch feature by clicking the settings icon. The system will not allow you to disable unless you have removed all switches and their statuses from the canvas first. In order to make the soft switches work and create logic for them, I need to drag both the soft switch and the status onto the canvas. Take note that they are two separate blocks. The status block is used to display the switch status on the sync screen. We separated the status block from the soft switch block to enable you to create different logic criteria for displaying status, if desired. You may want to increase the activation delay in more complex scenarios for triggering status. An example scenario for creating a soft switch might be to activate a strobe light. First, create your soft switch and modify the settings as we had done earlier. Drag the soft switch block onto the canvas. Drag the status block on the canvas. For this example, I will place it one row below and one column to the right of the soft switch. Next, navigate to the Connectors tab on the right-hand panel. Find the power output block you connected your strobe light to and rename it if desired. Close to save. Drag it onto the canvas next to the soft switch block. Place another instance of the same power block below the soft switch block. Connect the soft switch node to the power output. On the second power output instance, click the drop down and select status. Connect it to the soft switch status block. This will ensure that the status of the soft switch on the sync screen is only activated when the UIS module is getting a response from that pin. If it does not get a response, the sync screen will display no response for the button press. In a slightly more complex example, let's say I want this strobe light to only turn on when the button is pressed and the vehicle is in reverse. To do this, I need to add a few more blocks. First, let's disconnect the soft switch block from the power output block. We'll move the power output block over to make room. Then navigate to the CAN Read Signals on the right-hand panel. Find the Auto Actual Gear Position CAN signal. Drag it to the space below and between the soft switch block. This will create a new column. Select when in reverse from the drop-downs. Next, navigate to the Logic Blocks panel. Find and drag the simple gate block onto the canvas next to the strobe light soft switch. Connect the soft switch block and the gear position CAN signal to the gate block. Connect the gate block to your strobe light power output. 
The sequence reads, when the strobe light soft switch is pressed and the gear position is in reverse, then turn on the strobe light. If I wanted to change the logic to have the strobe turn on when the vehicle is in reverse or the soft switch is pressed, click the gate block and select the OR condition. Once I have saved and created the configuration to the cloud, I'm now ready to deploy it to any upfit integration system equipped vehicle. Any questions? Visit this site for more information. Thank you.